Man, yo, this is insane. So many new cards have just been confirmed, and let's get right into it. So the first one is Skilled Chestnut Chestnut Magician. You can only use the second effect with this card once per turn. Each time a spell card is activated, place one spell counter on it. Maximum three, I think. Holy shit, I can't see anything because of my mic. You can remove one spell counter from this card. Wow, that's also once per turn. And increase this card's level by one. Also, it gains 1500 attack. Uh, or add one Kribo monster or multiply from your deck or Gory Vera to your hand garbage. All right, Epsilon the Magnet Warrior and Xyz combined. I'm not really expecting much. So level 4 Earth Rock. If this card is normal or special, you can send one level 4 lower Magnet Warrior. It's actually so funny how <laughs> Konami is still trying to like revive back the shittier version of the like the revamp of like the two characters, you know, like how Yugi, he got like the Magnet Warriors and uh, Kaiba got like the ABC. Yeah, they're both equally as good, right? <laughs> no. Pretty much foolish from your deck to your grave. Uh, except itself. This card's name becomes the same, and then you can special summon one Mag Warrior monster or Magna uh, ma Warrior that doesn't share a name with any card you control from your graveyard. I mean, like, yeah, you can't really summon back whatever you summoned because this card's name becomes whatever you foolish, so... Yeah, it's kind of shitty in a way. Anyways, uh, Xyz combined, so continuous spell. If a light machine union monster card in your possession is banished... Whoa, so okay, so union driver. You can special summon one X head cannon, Y dragon ahead, or Z metal tech from your deck. So ass. Oh my, why, why not like ABC letters? That would have been so nice. You can return one fusion monster you control to the extra deck. Special summon up to two monsters with different names among your banished... Bro, why banished? Why not deck? It, it's like super... Oh my, this is super strict too. Yo, this card's ass cheeks. Alright, Monster Rebirth, Trap card. If a monster monsters was destroyed by battle, destroy not even battle or card effect. Foolish one mo for, for one monster reborn from your hand or deck to the grave. Then target one monster in either grave, special summon it. It's treated as monster reborn. Absolutely unplayable. Alright, this is where we get into the actual good cards. Because of course, you know me, I want to start with the bad news and then the good news. So we always end on a positive note. Quickly spell card, Flunderies and the Journey Preparations. There is no way in freaking hell... I will ever be pronouncing this Fluanderies, I would rather commit suicide. Anyways, once per turn, banish one winged beast monster from your hand or face a field. Mm? Oh wow. Add one Flunderies monster or field spell from your deck to your hand and gain 500 uh, life points. Now uh, this, by the way, I actually learned from uh, the Cyber Strike structure deck because I, I looked like a dumbass when I reacted to the cards on live. Uh, when, you know, you read a text and it says add one Flunderies monster or field spell, it doesn't mean add one Flunderies monster or add one one field spell. No, 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 you can't search Mystic Mind with this. You have to either search a Flunder Fl Flunderies monster or a Flunderies field spell. It's kind of sus, but anyways. And then gain 500 life points? Yo, this is actually very scary. Well, no way. This is a searchable way to FTK your opponent on game three in time. That's very terrifying, by the way. It's, it's not nothing. And uh, this card is actually kind of overpowered. There are a lot of really insane things about this card. First of all, you banishing a monster from your hand allows you to dodge Ash when you search something or when you go like normal Eaglin because you can go Chilling Quen Chilling too. But also, another really important thing is that this is another card that you can recycle back with a Toucan. When you get Veilard or Impermed, you can chain this, banish the monster that's being targeted, and then you not only resolve, but you search a Flunderies monster, and then you normal summon it immediately, and it's it's just insane. It's so good, man. It's a 9.5 out of 10. I'm just really positively surprised. I, I really like this. Alright, Guardian Chimera, level 9 Dark Beast Fusion Effect, 33-33. Uh, now, three monsters with different names, so I, I see a lot of people commenting some stupid things like, Oh wow, I don't understand why nobody plays the Trishula fusion as Super Poly. It's so overpowered. Bro, the reason <laughs> the reason why nobody plays it isn't because everybody is blind and nobody is aware that, you know, Oh wow, maybe you could use it as Super Poly. It's because you can't. Literally, if you read the first thing, Must first be fusion summoned using only monsters in your hand and field. As material minimum one from each so yeah Trishula is also like using your own cards so it's not like oh yeah just three monsters with different names that's it that's all no 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 anyways you can only use the first effect of this card's name once per turn if this card is fusion summoned by a spell effect you can draw cards equal to the number of monsters used as materials from the hand and if you do destroy cards your opponent controls doesn't target equal to the number of monsters uh, used as materials from the field 
I mean, like, yeah, I, I just don't really see a way of, like, generically summoning this, though. That's the thing. Your opponent cannot target this card with card effects while you have polymerization in your grave. I, I think there are some... No, no, sorry. Yeah, I think Fusion Substitute is always treated as polymerization, but uh, regardless, I read a card and it's not because, oh, the first time I read it uh, looked like garbage. It has to be garbage. Uh, no, th there has to be a way to use this. I just don't really see it. It's not like these cards where they actually suck ass because they're bad cards supporting bad art types. This is a good card, supporting a pretty very respectable deck. This card could be nice, and now we actually have some Blue Eyes cards. Alright, Blue Eyes Jet Dragon. Friendly reminder that Blue Eyes is the deck that won Worlds 2016, so if Kon Konami wants to make Blue Eyes better, they can. It's just a matter of decision for, I don't know, marketing and stuff or something like that. Seriously, if they want to make Yu-Gi-Oh! super popular again, all they have to do is just make Dark Magician or Exodia Tier 0, or some BS like that, make it so it becomes the best deck, so people talk, you know, in kind of the news, oh wow, you remember that guy in the anime, like, the that played, you know, the five pieces, uh, whatever deck? Yeah, that deck apparently is actually still playable 20, 20 years later. Anyways, Blue Eyes Jet Dragon, 3k attack, 0 defense, you can only use the first and third effect of this card's name once per turn, you must have Blue Eyes White Dragon on your field or graveyard to activate this effect, so it's the same, I think, as Deep of Blue Eyes or something like that, Deep of Ice, I forgot. Anyways, if he card cards on the field is destroyed by battle or by card effect, you can special summon this card from your graveyard, it was there, or, or hand, okay, yeah, so, oh wow, that's actually pretty nice, and it also doesn't get banished when it leaves the field, that's pretty fantastic, I, I'm, a, I'm a huge fan, and it also doesn't have to be destroyed by your opponent's card effect, it can be destroyed by your own card effect, unfortunately, you do have to at least have Blue Eyes White Dragon on your field or graveyard, in your graveyard, I think it's a bit easier because your trade-in at least kind of makes this live, but so far so good, other cards you control cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effect, uh, that includes your phase down back row, which is fantastic. So if you're playing super, you know, heavy back row blue eyes, maybe this could work. At the start of the damage step, if this card battles, you can target one card your opponent controls, return it to the hand. Another really cool thing I want to say is that this card says if this card battles and not if it declares an attack. So even if your opponent is attacking you, you still get to bounce back that monster to the hand. P pretty good. And by the way, it actually says you can target one card your opponent controls. Doesn't necessarily have to be the monster that you are battling with. And with three 3000 attack, you can pretty much clear a lot of cards every single time you attack. So the monster that you're running over by battle and another card that you're bouncing back every single time on top of protecting pretty much every other card on your field. Obviously not itself, but it is still a blue eyes monster so it can be summoned off of uh, the alternative. I think alternative summons a blue eyes monster and not just a blue eyes white dragon. Of course, otherwise it wouldn't be able to summon dragon spirit of white. Dragon spirit of white is always considered a blue eyes monster but not blue eyes white dragon. Anyways, the other card would be the Tyrant of D. <laughs> you can send one Blue Eyes White Dragon from your hand or deck to the graveyard. Fantastic! That's a great cost. It's like Magician Souls. Beautiful, right? Special summon this card from your hand. Not too bad, not too bad. I like it so far. You can discard one Blue Eyes White Dragon or one card that's specifically listed in the text. Almost everything at this point. Then target one Blue Eyes Monster in your grave. Special summon it. Again, pretty good. If you control a Blue Eyes Monster, you choose the attack targets of your opponent's attacks. This is actually kind of interesting when you have a card like Blue Eyes Dread Dragon because when you have a weak, weak monster like this and the Blue Eyes Jet Dragon, your opponent is still kind of stuck. Like, you can't really just attack over this, right? He's gonna be forced to attack over this and even if that monster is stronger, well, whatever, it's just gonna get bounced back. So this is already kind of like a, a semi- two cards, soft lock, but not really, uh, whatever, you get the point, right? Anyways, Blue Eyes Tyrant Dragon Fusion Monster, one Blue Eyes White Dragon, and one Dragon Monster. Must first be either Fusion Summoned or Special Summoned from your extra deck by tributing one Blue Eyes White Dragon equipped with a Fusion Monster. I haven't read the, uh, fu uh, the, bleh, the Quick Play spell card to Fuse, so up until now, this kind of just looks almost irrelevant, like, I don't know how easy it is to fuse a fusion monster that's equipped, but anyways. Uh, unaffected by trap effects, this card can attack all monsters your opponent controls once each, so Conductor Tyranno, whatever, Tyrant Dragon. Once per turn, if this card battles at the end of the damage step, you can target one trap in your graveyard, set it to your spell and trap zone, again, if it battles, not just if it attacks. Pretty good, I kinda like it, it's cool, but it's not... Yeah, it's, it's not overpowered. Anyways, Ultimate Fusion, during the main phase, Fusion Summon, one Fusion Monster that lists Blue Eyes White Dragon or Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon as material by shuffling Fusion Materials listed on it from your hand, field, or graveyard into the deck, including at least one Blue Eyes White Dragon or Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. 
<laughs> then you can destroy face-up cards your opponent controls up to the number of Blue Eyes White Dragon and Blue Eyes Ultimate used as material from the field. Okay, so there's already something that I can kind of figure out. So there's a two-card combo with Alternative and... Uh, not Alternative. White Stone of Ancient, sorry! That, that's what I meant with the other White Stone. I wasn't talking about Alternative, but the it's White Stone of Ancients. So you go for Link Karibo, whatever, and phase, you summon Blue Eyes White Dragon. Of course, you said this. During your opponent's main phase, you can fuse using the... Well, shuffling back the altern Ancients and the Blue Eyes White Dragon into the deck. Pop a card your opponent controls and you summon this, which is not, like, super insane. It could have been more oppressive, but... Uh. Whatever, I guess we'll take it. Uh, Perishing with the Eyes of Blue. Continuous Spell card, that's also the last card. Wow. You can only activate one card with this card's name once per turn. When you activate this card, you can also reveal one Blue Eyes White Dragon in your hand. If you did, the special summon one monster from your hand can be anything, can even be Archlord Christia. Once per turn, you can target one face-up monster control, return that face-up monster to the hand, then you can apply one of these effects based on its original name. Blue Eyes White Dragon allows you to summon back any monster from your hand, or if it is not, you have to only summon one Blue Eyes, so it's the exact opposite. Uh, do I really like this card? No. Uh, do I really like Ultimate Fusion? I mean, it destroys cards without targeting, but it's only face up, so you can't really mass destroy a lot of back row. And Blue Eyes Tyrant Dragon. Mm. Yeah, it's also not the greatest card here. I, I think these two monsters are probably my favorite ones. They're probably the most playable in a legitimate blue eye strategy. But anyways, now for the DDD cards. Alright, I feel like they're gonna be really, really good. So the first one is DD Griffin. Level 4 Dark Fiend Pendulum Effect. 1200 attack, 1200 defense. Pendulum skill of 1. The Pendulum Effect is... You can target one Fiend monster you control. It gains 500 attack for each Dark Contract Spell or Trap. With different names you control and in your grave, then destroy this card. Monster Effect. Alright, you can only use each effect once per turn. If you control a DD monster, you can special summon this card from your hand in defense. That's already so good. So good. It makes Kepler a one-card combo. Oh my god. If this card is Pendulum Summoned, you can discard one DD or Dark Contract card. Draw one card. I think this might have some form of, like, kind of potential or synergy with other cards that we might have not seen yet. If this card is special summon from the graveyard, you can add one DD card from your deck to your hand, except DD Griffin. Now this is insanity, but getting this in the graveyard is a little hard. It's not, okay, it's not super hard, but you're gonna either have to fuse from the hand, so it's it's kind of easy, or you're gonna have to find another way to kind of get access to this, but it's, it's pretty good. I really like it. Th this card gets like a solid 9.5 out of 10 for me again. Just so amazing, man. So far, great support. This is broke. This is amazing. Now for the XEs. DDDD, I'm, well, Triple D. Amnesty King do Makina. This is how you should actually write the actual Makina monsters instead of Machine with an A at the end. Uh, 3k, 3k, Pendulum Scale 10. If you have a card in your other Pendulum Zone, you can target one Pendulum monster you control in your, or in your graveyard. Special summon this card in your other Pendulum Zone, and if you do place that target in your Pendulum Zone, holy shit, this is so overpowered. Oh my god. Of course, it's like the, um, it's it's a pendulum exceeds, so you you already know that this is gonna be ha this is gonna have a super powerful effect. Anyways, you can also exceed seven discard by using a triple D monster you control as material. Oh my god, this is like generic support for like burning abyss too. <laughs> this is so overpowered, man. You can make I think the Darius with the two BAs and then summon this and then attack and then make this and then make like a huge Zeus with billions of materials. Yeah, that's very terrifying, by the way. Oh my god. Anyways, you can only control one DDD uh, Nesty Blah and the monster zone. Okay, so you can't overlay one on top of another one, I think. Once per chain, when your opponent activates a monster card's effect on the field, quick effect, you can detach two materials from this card or destroy one dark ar contract card you control. So it's a, it's a choice that you get. And if you do attach that opponent's card to this card as material, but it doesn't negate. So it's comparable to the uh, Berserker Tenyi and the other level 10 uh, agent monster, Synchro. But yeah, once per turn ring your standby, you can place this card in your pendulum zone. I mean, the pendulum effect is so ridiculously overpowered that uh, I'm kind of down. <laughs> this card is overpowered. Yeah. All right, field spell, pretended dark contract dot Documents. You can only use the second effect of the discard once per turn. If your opponent special summons a monster monsters of the same type, Fusion Synchro Xyz Link as a DDD monster you control, not only inflict a thousand, but they can't special summon monsters of the same type as those summoned monsters for the rest of the turn while this card is face up on the field. Oh my god! Yo, D-Barrier is... <laughs> 
Oh my god, this is insane. Nobody can make Zeus under this. Nobody. If you want to make Zeus, you always have to exceed summon at least twice per turn. And this is like, yeah, you only get one of each kind of summon maximum if your opponent has, well, if you as the DDD player have, uh, you know, the matching type of monster on the field. Oh my god. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can add one DD monster from your graveyard or face up extra deck to your hand. Again, another insane card. You can play Foolish Burial Goods now and just recycle back your monster monsters from even your extra day. Oh my god, this is so good! Yo, so far, three amazing DDD cards. Actually ridiculous. And the final one is a normal trap card. You can only activate blah, blah, blah. If you control a triple D monster, so the big one by the big ones, target one face of monster your opponent controls, take control of it until the end phase of the next turn! Ah! What? <laughs> it's not even until the end phase of this turn. It's like way better than Widow Anchor. But its effects are negated. It cannot declare an attack. Also, if it was special summon from the extra deck, it is treated as a triple D monster. <laughs> oh my god. This is like Crackdown on Crack. There has to be like a pun with like a Crackdown because the original name was Manhunt. This is Headhunt. I don't- I have nothing else to say. I just don't. <laughs> I don't know what you guys think of these new cards, but I really want to make a DDD combo video deck profile and everything really, really soon. So if you guys are looking forward to that, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.